Hello students, we are solving the IB Math EHL past papers and currently we are solving the IB Math EHL May 2021 paper 2 times on 2 past paper and today we will be solving the question number 6 of this paper. You will be getting the links to all the previously solved questions of this paper and of the other papers in the description area in form of playlist. So, without any further delay, let us start answering the question number six. The maximum mark is six. A continuous random variable x has the probability density function fn given by fn of x equal to n plus one times x to the power of n for x between zero and one, both included, and fn of x equal to zero otherwise for other values of x not lying in this range between zero and one and n is a real number n is greater than or equal to zero so part a says show that expected value of this random continuous random variable x is equal to n plus one over n plus two and it contains two marks we first of all let me write the formula for the expected value you will be getting the formula in the formula booklet so this is the formula for the expected value for continuous random variable it is negative infinity to positive infinity x times f of x dx okay so now x and over here it is fn of x but we will not be taking the limits between negative infinity to positive infinity because this is the region where the fn of x is having some non-zero value. So we will be taking the integration limits as 0 and 1 because there is no point in taking the limits from negative infinity to infinity. From negative infinity to up to 0, the fn of x will be equal to 0. So the integral will be equal to 0, definitely. And also the after 1 to positive infinity, it will again be 0. So, we will be taking the integral from 0 to 1. Therefore, coming to subpart A, we are doing the subpart A. Now, we will be writing the integral for this question. That was the general formula. So, this is 0 to 1. x times in fn of x that will be n plus 1 times x to the power of n dx. So this is n plus 1 it is a constant so I can take this out and x to the power of 1 times x to the power of n is x to the power of n plus 1. n plus 1 and this will be x to the power of n plus 2 over n plus 2 and the limits will be 0 to 1. When x equal to 0 then 0 raised to any power is 0 so we will not be getting any any non-zero term from when x equal to zero. We will be getting only when x equal to one, we will be getting something which is non-zero. So this is equal to n plus one over n plus two because n plus two is a constant. I can take this out. I can write this as one to the power of n plus 2 
minus zero to, to the power of n plus two. Me write this. Me leave this also because this will not be contributing. So this is equal to n plus one over n plus two because one raised to any power is one. Okay. So this is the working of subpart A coming to subpart B. Show that the variance of this continuous random variable x is equal to n plus 1 over n plus 2 whole squared times n plus 3 and it contains 4 marks. Actually, these are very simple questions. Only thing is you are, either you have to memorize these formulas or you have to select the formula from the formula booklet and you have to apply that. That's all. First of all, let me write the formula. Variance of x will be equal to negative infinity to positive infinity x squared times f of x dx minus the expected value whole square. Okay. This in our case will be variance of x is equal to, we will be taking from 0 to 1 definitely, x squared and it is n plus 1 x to the power of n dx minus it was n plus 1 over n plus 2. n plus 1 over n plus 2. Whole square. Okay. First of all, let me just draw a line over here. Okay. So, this will be, we, we are coming to the integration part. As before, we can take out the n plus 1. And it is x to the power of n plus 2 now. Okay. So x plus x to the power of n plus 2. When integrated will be x to the power of n plus 3. So it will be x to the power of n plus 3 over n plus 3. Zero to one minus n plus one whole square over n plus two whole square. Okay. This is now again the zero will not be contributing, so it will be actually n plus one over n plus three because one to the power of n plus three is one. So this is n plus 1 over n plus 3 minus n plus 1 whole square over n plus 2 whole square equal to I'm taking the common denominator as n plus the whole square is written first, so I'm writing that first. And n plus 3. It is n plus 1 times n plus 2 whole square, which I am just expanding. It is n square plus 4n plus 4. And I can, in fact, 
keep the n plus 1 common. So I am taking n plus 1 common. n plus 1 times n plus 2 whole square. So I have taken n plus 1 common and I have expanded n plus 2 whole square minus it will be 1 n plus 1 is taken outside. So it will be n plus 1 times n plus 3. So this is equal to n plus 2 whole square and n plus 3 n plus 1. So let us see what happens. Okay. And the this part is in square plus 4 in plus 4 and this is minus in square and this is plus 3 in and plus in is plus 4 in so minus 4 in and minus 3. n square n square cancel so and 4n minus 4n and this also cancel 4 minus 3 is 1 so this is n plus 1 over n plus 2 whole square n plus 3 okay so we have shown this So we have completed answering question number six. And thank you for staying with me till the end. I'm Nilanjana Sanyal. I tutor IB Math e, SL and HL level students from inside India and outside India. And I am starting my group online math tutoring sessions for IB Math e, SL and HL level students from the month of July new batches will be started and if you are interested in joining my classes you may contact me for more details you can mail me you can text me you may call me you are having my whatsapp number you are seeing my email id getting displayed so you may contact me for more details okay and we will be meeting very soon in our next lesson next session rather where we will be solving, solving question number seven of this paper. Till then, bye.